That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for being here. Presents Co Brothers presents at last and at last Santino Brothers action is back and live. Who's excited? I'm the DKC and Hennessy is what I'm sipping. This is Camera Gates and he always be dripping with our vibes. Why do we always be driven? Always be getting what we give in. Cause we push too far for now to be quitting all your tanks. Cut the music. Cut the music. Now let me get a couple formalities out of the way and start by saying to all of you here. Happy New Year and welcome to Santino Brothers Presents at last. Now, I hope that all your years have gotten off to a good start because mine sure the hell has not. It seems that disrespecting championship talent is the thing to do around here. Two shows ago, I came out here and I beat Santino Brothers resident ass kicker Robbie Phoenix. Scratch that. I made history when I became the youngest Santino Brothers champion ever. And nobody seemed, yeah, yeah, now you care. Nobody seemed to care then. Then the very next show, I come out here on one ACL, one meniscus, and I left Douglas James snoring in a puddle of his own drool. Okay, I beat top tier talent that this school has to offer. And not only that, I beat the man that shows him everything he knows. White man came across the sea. He brought us pain and misery. He killed our tribes. He killed our creed. He took our game. So, nobody cares about poor Cam Gage because he hurt his knee. I'll tell you this. They sure don't make wrestlers like they used to. I wrestled for a year straight with a broken shoulder. I didn't bitch about it once. So now, you're out here talking about, no one cares about me. You're right, no one does care about you. Nobody, not them, not anybody. No one cares about you, who are you? You, the submission champion, right. and you and your boys cheated. Now where are they? Yeah. Where are they? That's what I thought. So now, you know you're trying, but you even haven't given me my rematch. Now you're pretending you have an injury so you don't have to give me a rematch? That's bullshit, bro. Where you been? Want it? Robbie, so what? Okay, your shoulder was bummed before you started anyway. If you had a, a severe injury like this, you wouldn't be wrestling, I guarantee you that. But you know what, you're right, Robbie, you're right. Hey, I'm a fighting champion. I'm a respectable champion, an honest champion, okay? So I'm gonna give you your shot at this title. You want a shot at this title? I'm gonna give you a shot at this title. You guys want a shot at this title, huh? huh? Okay, you want a shot at this title? You got it, if you can beat this guy. Gentlemen, a raucous start to Santino Brothers at last. The handsome boy, Adnan Qureshi here as Cameron Gates has offered Robbie Phoenix his rematch at the Santino Brothers Submission Championship. If he can get through Ray Romero Jr. here. Romero blindsiding Robbie Phoenix right at the beginning of this. Off the ropes goes Robbie Phoenix, ducking the lines. Phoenix here with the head scissors, taking down Ray Romero. 
Cameron Gates currently still on the injured list, trying to play cheerleader to Ray Romero, and it's not doing him good as Romero ends up down in the corner. Phoenix, he fought long and hard to become submission champion. And in many people's eyes, including Phoenix himself, feels as though he deserves another shot. And these people definitely think so here in Cudahy, California, as he drives down Ray Romero with that beautiful DDT. Robbie Phoenix rolling through, looking for a short arm scissors perhaps. Variation of it, he's got Ray locked in. It's maneuvers like this are reasons why Robbie Phoenix was a submission champion. Wait a minute, Cam Gates, he's in the ring and he seems to be moving just fine. Holds that cane up. Oh my goodness! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner via disqualification, Ray Romero Jr. Robbie! <laughs> Robbie! You big dummy! You big dummy! How did you not know what I was going to do? I told you! I know what hat I'm going to play regardless of the cards that are dealt. As long as I'm the champion, you will never, ever, ever, ever get another shot at this title. Ever! This... Sorry. Better than next time. Let me tell you something. 
This student right here, he's gonna take this old dog out back and pull the trigger tonight. Adnan, 
Robbie Phoenix came out and jumped me from behind first before the match even started. So if we were looking for an advantage, I think he was looking for it there. Alright, so what about your match with Douglas James? You hit Douglas James with the championship in order to, to retain that as Milo Matters gets eliminated. You know what, I'm not, if you asked me that championship was a fair measure. Douglas James came in there and he wrestled me and he knew that I was injured. I had one ACL and I still put that on the line. I put my title on the line and I still came out victorious. So Douglas James passed. Well, regardless, you gotta think guys like Ray Romero Jr. would love an opportunity. Fresh faces, the infection, Rob Shit right there. Yeah, Rob Take the three American. You know what, if anybody deserves a title, it's Rob Shit. Oh, well, he could do it. Yeah. He's taking it to yeah, Robbie we'll Phoenix right now as well, well as Alec see. Tomas. Tomas finally returning to the ring after being injured for over a year, making his debut back yeah, in November of 2018, injured. and then taking a, a serious injury and working so hard to come back. He could be a great feel-good store if he wins this battle well. You Shawn see, Adnan, this is exactly the disrespect that I'm talking about. You come over here and you acknowledge Alex's injury. He's not a champion, okay? I, I cannot deny that you are the youngest champion in Santino Brothers That's history. That's right. No Say one can take time. that away. Say no, that one more time. You are the youngest champion in Santino Brothers history. No one can take That's that away right. from you, but any one of these competitors would love to knock off the youngest champions. Yeah, I'm sure they would. And, and there's sure so many would. worthy competitors in here. Ruby Reyes with her undefeated streak. Vinny Wasco or Alonzo Alvarez. Both, both great competitors. Hyde looking for that breakout moment. This could be it. We got Jax Cannon. First time here at Santino Brothers. Could be number one contender. On the, no, I don't think so. Oh. are getting way too carried away here now. Another elimination over there on the side. Oh, Alec Tomas! Oh, Tomas gets sent over! He's hanging on! He's hanging on! Let go! Oh! Let go. Let he's go. still hung on! Ray Romero also teetering on the edge here. There goes Tomas! Tomas has been eliminated! See, uh, that's well, why we don't acknowledge his injury, because he well, came back and he failed. Well, your pick, Rob Shit, has been eliminated from God this match. Rob. I mean, we look at guys, we see so many talent, and there's so much talent in there that are nominated for this year's Southern California Rookie of the Year. You look at guys like RJ Santos and Hyde, they could be Rookie of the Year. Yeah, you I'm know what, uh, not, I'm glad that you brought that up, because if you don't remember, last year I won the popular vote for that Rookie of the Year submission, you and I still did not get that win. I was wrongly taken of that, I was robbed of that title. Well, you and DKC were both nominated for Rookie of the Year the previous year. You have to be glad to know Slice Boogie is nominated this year. You're yeah, and he serves it, he's going to bring it home for the PIC. Absolutely. Just like yeah, that's a, that's a very big possibility. Hyde, though, skinning the cat, keeping himself in the middle of this ring. Remember, you got to be thrown over the top, and both feet have to touch the floor yeah, like Ray goes, Romero Ray. Jr.'s did. Good job, Ray. I gave you a chance, and you failed. Go back. Uh, well, I guess uh, Ray Romero Jr. isn't going to be earning his membership into the PIC after tonight. Not exactly. Uh, RJ Santos is going to get, oh, countering Ruby Ray's splash in the corner. Guy Cool is looking not as cool now. He's looking like a loser, unfortunately. Guy He's going to cool, head to the back. Right. Guy eliminated. Bye-bye. Uh, nice to see you again, Guy. What a, what a welcome return that was for Guy. Yeah, as quick as it was. We are down to six competitors here. Ruby Rays. Oh, there goes Ruby. Oh, there she goes. No, she's hung uh, out. She's hung out. She's on the apron. Vinny Wasco celebrating perhaps too early here. RJ Santos in a bad spot. You don't want to be on the top rope in a battle run. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. RJ Santos tossed out of the match and onto every other competitor. Wow. And the crowd here in Cudahy, California is going nuts! You know what? I, I, I was almost impressed there. You were almost, almost impressed. Almost impressed there. Okay, well, well you're going to have to be impressed by close. one of these five competitors in the ring. Ruby Reyes, Alonzo Alvarez, Vinny Wasco, Robbie Phoenix, or Hyde. One of these five is going to challenge you for that submission oh, championship. Man. I mean, do you have strategies like already in mind for any one of these five who wins? Yeah, I show up, I go in there, I do some cool shit, and I go home with the title. That's I mean, all I need. I mean, some could say that's a strategy, some could say that's winging it, but whatever works for you, you're going to have a tough test ahead of you, honestly. It's going to be very interesting to see. Right now, as Hustle and Muscle are working over Hyde. Is Hyde going to get eliminated here? He's landed, and there he goes. There he Hyde's goes. out. Hustle and Muscle working together to eliminate their competition, but only one can win. You gotta wonder what's gonna happen if Hustle and Muscle end up as the last two. They gotta fight oh, against man. each other. So now we got these four instigators out here. I mean, you title. have to think. What about what if you were ever in a situation like this with the DKC or with Slice Boogie? What would you do in that situation? We go out there and we win every time. I don't know. That's all there is. You have that camaraderie just does sometimes. You gotta fight your friends, but right now, currently Hustle and Muscle still friends, beating down on Robbie Phoenix and Ruby Rays. Wasco talking trash to the people here. 
the Clara Sports Complex. Yeah, you know what, Adnan, if I can relate to any strategy in there tonight, it's definitely hustle and hustle. I come from tag team. Absolutely, and it's, it's very interesting that you both have like captured singles titles as well during your run as a tag team. And oh, there goes Vinny Wasco. Yeah. That leaves Alonzo Alvarez all by himself, but he's there with Robbie Phoenix. Phoenix looking to toss out Alvarez. Phoenix goes up. There he goes. No, lands on the apron. Phoenix oh, is still in this match. Come on. Robbie Phoenix, oh. on top of being a former submission champion, also a former Santino Brothers heavyweight champion. There he goes. Oh, but he's not <laughs> going to be Bye, Robbie. He's not going to get his rematch, I unfortunately. I doesn't lie. He didn't deserve it, and he's not going to get it today. The people are chanting, Chingona here for Ruby Reyes. I think they want to see Ruby versus you, Cam. Yeah, I'm sure they would. I'm sure they want to see anybody against me. In, in all honesty, either competitor, Alonzo Alvarez, he's called the king of wrestling for a reason. He's very well versed in submission wrestling. Not like me. Not like me, Adnan. Well, if, he was, if he was well versed in submission wrestling, he would have his Well, if, Ru if Ruby Reyes can win this, this is going to be her first shot at the submission championship in years since her match against Eli Everfly a couple years ago. Right now, Alonzo Alvarez, he's teetering, he's holding on. Skin in the cat. He makes it over with that core strength. Alvarez is still in it. Wow. Rolling down. Oh, yeah. oh, clothesline, not enough to take over Reyes. Can he do it? Second clothesline, she's teetering, she's rocked, she's real. What if they both go out at the same time and nobody wins? Oh, uh, well, that would come to, oh, well, we all oh. had to find out. Because, ladies and gentlemen, your winner and number one contender for the submission championship, Ruby Reigns! Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's hot! how you feel about the word illustrious a little later on. I may have given that word to Adnan because there's nothing else to describe. And introducing his opponent from Los Angeles, California, she is the hell-bent fixin' Viva Van! Yes, Mama. Show them what you got in that ring, Viva. Hellbent Vixen, Hellbent on victory. Not only does she want to come out on top as 2019 Rookie of the Year for SoCal Uncensored, she wants to come out victorious in this first ever matchup between herself and Dom Kubrick. And I would hate to see Dom lose. Maybe I'm saying that a little tongue in cheek, but yeah, I would love to see Dom suffer a little bit in this match. But again, once again, my opinions, try not to be held back Here, a little bit. Fresh out the gate, Dom Kubrick, Asking, asking Viva Van to plan a smooch on him. We, we know he's famous for those smoochy maneuvers. Oh. Yes. Viva Van. Viva Van's no dummy. She's seen more than one Dom Kubrick match to know his tactics. She doesn't know where that mouth's been. Disgusting. Oh, there we go. Incredible. Using the momentum of Dom Kubrick against him is the Hellbent Vixen. Lands on her feet with cat like agility and arm drag from Kubrick. Ooh, a little tip for tap there. Eye for an eye, move for a move, if you don't say. Viva Van so well-versed in that Lucha Libre style. In her knockout year, she's traveled all over the U.S., Texas, Colorado, Arizona. That was the Viva sweep right there. Absolutely incredible from Viva. Viva Van also made her triple-A debut in Mexico this past year now. Very deserving, absolutely. Although Dom doing the tactics that he is known best for, a little slither, a little slime, a little sleaze, if you don't uh, 
know what that even means. A little sleaze if you please. Ooh. And Viva Van does not please. Sweeping out the leg from underneath the cover. Only a one count for Viva Van. And a, an answer from Kubrick. I feel like these potential Rookie of the Year and the Rookie of the Year are, I would have to say, equally matched right now in this matchup. 100%. Tip for tat, as you said. Viva Van crossed over the top rope. Gets a shoulder right in the midsection of Don Kubrick. Viva Van dodging it out of the way, back into the ring, off the ropes. Such agility! Oh my gosh, a low dive between the ropes, but Dom Kubrick had her scouted. Oh, right Whoa. on the floor! Yes, please tell me that crack Dom Kubrick's knocking right open. Oh my gosh. I mean, the, there there's absolutely no padding on the on the floor around the ring. This is just cold hardwood. Right, listen, I know Dom Kubrick quite well. He has no padding in his head either. Because he fired. Yeah, I said it. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad we got there. I'm not letting go. I'm uh, not going to let go. Oh, but just oh. Two, two count. Oof. Two count only for Viva Van. Come on, Viva. Viva Van obviously wanting to show what she's got to the current reigning SoCal Uncensored Rookie of the Year. Once the torch is passed, she wants to prove in this matchup why she is deserving of being the next Rookie of the Year. Uh, I'm going to call that a flame more than a torch, if you know what I mean. I, I, I can guess. Oh, Viva Van, such incredible strikes, just teeing off on Dom Kubrick, but Kubrick with the choke on Van breaks the hold. Holy judo throw. Part of me wants to be ringside to help wow. Viva Van, because I could oh my gosh. scope this out. Yes, tap him out, A please. cross face on Kubrick. Is he going to give it up right here in the center of the ring in this opening contest at at last? She's got to be careful where she puts her hands near that mouth. He's liable to do something filthy to him. I do not doubt that, Halston. It's all part of the, Cu the Kubrick technique, we'll call it. Is that what we're calling it now? Oh. I don't like that name. I didn't give it to him. Kubrick learned all of these submission maneuvers somewhere because it led him to be a former holder of the Santino Brothers submission title. And what now, is he oh, doing? What is geez. the what kind of maneuver? A flurry of forearms oh, on the no. mid-back of Viva Van. You know, he's been a submission champion before, so this is not out of his wheelhouse by any means. However, Viva's got to show that toughness that we're used to seeing from her. Viva Van, though, look at the just... I can't tell if, it, if it's the fear of, of losing or the determination to keep going in her eyes. Well, she is absolutely the one tough mama. She knows what she's doing in that ring, and she is not afraid to uh, get a little violent and get a little, uh, <coughs> we just saw a little bit of that sass right there with her hand, giving him the slap. Whoa, hey, hey, Oh hey. my goodness. What do you say, hands go. off the merchandise? Right. Cracking a kick to the dome of Kubrick is Viva Van, and now looking for that tarantula yes, on the ropes, using every bit of our referee, Nick Bonanno's five count to Gosh, put enough damage on the extremities of Dom Kubrick. There is the violence that I'm looking out for out of Viva. Take it to him. Hell of a lot tougher to kick out of a pinfall with a weakened shoulder, weakened arms. She's got to follow him quickly, though, because Dom doesn't. Dom's not the type of person who uh, can, uh, he recovers quickly. What'd what you I'm say? About to say? Would you say you can't keep a good Dom down? Yo, well. Oh, Dom looking for just the tip, but Viva able to duck beneath. Whoa. Big pump kick. Desperation ends Aguirre. Oh, oh my gosh. Crack to the oh. jaw. Looking for half of the Viva sweep at that roundhouse. Viva off the ropes, up on the shoulders. Whoa! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Holy runner. I'm going to have to let Viva Van. Just the tip oh, to Viva no. Van. Right in the cranium. Dom off the ropes. Six ah. factor. I'm going to have to. Uh, let Viva Van know of my dentist and plastic surgeon just in case this gets a little rougher than it already has. Oh, Lordy. Well, Nick Bonanno now checking both of our competitors to see who is going to stir. Our first opening contest of 2020 here at last for Santino Brothers and, and Viva Van and Dom Kubrick are just coming to their senses. Viva Van needs a little breeze for my fan. Come on, get on up, darling. Take him out for the sake of me. Give it to me as a gift for the new year. New year, new you. Wipe the, wipe the slate clean as these two try and wipe the smirks off each other's faces. 
Oh, Dom looking for the smooch it, once more. Viva has it blocked. Oh, thank goodness. Viva. Oh. Oh. Trying. Tossed by oh, Dom Kubrick and gets a knee right to the dome. Dom springs off the middle rope. Viva able to dodge. Ducks beneath the clothesline. Viva up in that corner. Dom had it scouted, but now oh, Meteora from the skies. She just called her shot, waited for the right moment. It's called patience, darling. And now Viva hooking the leg of Kubrick right here in the center of the oh. ring. Dom kicks out. Oh my gosh. This is how we're starting, Kathy. I mean, I'm going to have to take my sugar pill for the rest of the I mean, good morning. I hope you have some extra. Get one for me. Oh my God. Viva Van now bringing Dom Kubrick to, oh gosh, Dom Kubrick just on his knees as he's trying to fire some shots to the midsection, putting some distance between himself and his competitor. Oh, there, oh, no, 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 no. Double underhook. Viva, oh, oh Viva able to break. Boot right to the gullet. Oh my gosh, swinging through, but Dom Kubrick rolls her back. Oh my goodness. Double underhook. Scouted Holy it moly. It. And, just an Uno and now guard. the hook of the leg from Dom Kubrick. Viva! Viva's still alive. She's got tenacity, she's got heart, and she's got the power to kick out. Viva Van is not as, I mean, she you, she looks like she's down. She looks like she's gasping for her, but I know she's got gas in that engine. Viva oh. collecting her strength, collecting her wits, but now. Oh, Abel, <laughs> see, collecting those wits. Abel to hook the legs of Dom Kubrick. Yes. Look at this brilliant at submission. Oh my gosh, just torquing back on the lower back of Dom Kubrick. You can hear the spinal adjustment from here. It's so good. Oh, I got it. Who I needs mean, a chiropractor when you have Viva Van? Right. Oh no, but Dom Kubrick, has he gotten the shoulders down? Abel to use the work of Viva against what? her, the three what? count. That's it! Viva! Kubrick! So, Halston, tell me again your feelings on the word illustrious. Oh, listen, I don't know if I want to call that illustrious. I kind of want to call it. Uh, the word, the only word that keeps coming to the tip of my tongue is hot garbage. Oh, I cannot Ow. handle seeing Dom win like this. And I don't care if I'm biased. He knows he's got to come into him this year. Oh, well, if it isn't the insurgent himself. Oh, boy, here we go. Ray Rosas flanked by Ronchi Rico and Latino meat Che Cabrera. You smell, you smell meat? I, I smell Latino meat. Right. It's, it's right there in the ring. It's in the crock pot. Lo right and behold, feast your eyes on your true Santino Rose heavyweight champion, Ray Rosa! You are splendid. Like the good sheep that you are, you worship your savior. When I vanquished your false idol, Jake Atlas. You can like it, you can hate it, but it's fact. It is written, it was done. I am the savior of Santino Bros Wrestling and I will cleanse all the scum from the top to the bottom. And it will happen. Change will come even if blood has to spill. Sacrifices have to be made. But for the greater good, I will take no such pleasure. It is my solemn duty, my unfortunate consequence of being the savior of Santino Cruz Wrestling. 2020 is going to be the start of a brand new era, the Ray Rosas era. The era of the Santino Bros Savior. Listen, Ronchi Rico and Che Cabrera have it in for themselves because if this is going to be a match between the tag team match scheduled for one fall. 
Introducing team number one, being accompanied in the ring by the Santino Brothers heavyweight champion, Ray Rosas. They are both former Santino Brothers heavyweight champions, the team of Latino me, Che Cabrera, and Ronchi Rico. Wow, no, no love lost for Ronchi Rico and Latino Meat. That's like Ronchi Rico. Oh. And introducing their opponents at a combined weight of 360 pounds, Zocre and Phoenix Star, Los Luchas! And the crowd goes wild for Zocre and Phoenix Star. What polar opposites? This is going to be a match of, again, veteran status. These guys have been in the ring long enough. Between all of them. Oh my gosh. I mean, Ronchi Rico started part of the starting of Santino Brothers in his backyard. I mean, he knows this ring inside and out. But again, those Luchas, they know what they're doing too. So this is going to be one hell of a matchup. And here we have Zokra facing off against Latino Meat. Latino Meat, who is the longest reigning Santino Brothers champion in history, at least one of. And as we said, uh, as actually our, our announcer, Adnan Qureshi, said, both Che Cabrera and Ronchi Rico held the Santino Brothers heavyweight title. Absolutely. There is hot championship caliber in this ring. That's why I'm saying keep your eyes peeled. This match is going to be fire. And let's take into consideration if we're speaking of of, of, of titles and awards and, and, and such accolades, Los Luchas are our former NWA World Tag Team Champions. Absolutely. I mean, once again, the, the pedigrees of these gentlemen in the ring, this is why this is going to be such a high-quality match. Che Cabrera, though, not taking the intimidation too well from, uh, from Zoke right now. He's got the meat and the packs, but he's clearly not taking the attitude. Wait a minute, here we go. We'll tag. Opting not to tag oh. in Ronchi Rico. Hey. Calling his own shots in the ring, trying to trying to change the momentum, if you will. Wow. Getting inside the head of Zogre, issuing, issuing. Oh, nope. Zogre decides to just cut out the middleman and go for the uh, arm ringer. Now Che wrenching the wrist Taking, feet, uh, taking Zogre down to the mat. Right, the high flying actually hasn't even started yet, but it's you can see it bubbling up like a boil of water. Zogre off the ropes. Oh my gosh, speed just chopped out of mid flight. Right, last time I checked, Latino meat kind of looks like a wall. Oh, Maybe rolled up on right the shoulders. The Woo. Yeah, almost a quick. Oh my gosh, the Magistral Cradle. Oh no, Che Cabrera able to roll through and now it's just a, a whirling dervish in the center of the ring. Tug of war. Oh my gosh, but oh. look, Che Cabrera having his airway cut off in the submission hold by Zokre. That's the thing about Zokre, he's got the speed advantage in this ring right now. In so, comes oh, wait a minute. Wow, Ronchi Rico actually warning Zokre before just firing off a kick right to, was that the shoulder? Right, referee Jeez. Isaac Hayes has got to get in there. What is he doing even tag out there? What kind of, oh, here we go. The attitude of Ronchi Rico showing up. Ronchi Rico, a 19 year veteran himself. There are lifetimes of there experience here in the ring. Tag made, in comes Phoenix Star. <laughs> here we go. Against Ronchi Rico. A little speed action once again. Los Luchas, once they get momentum, once they get speed behind them, they are absolutely unstoppable. It's just a matter of getting that, that speed, that agility, and that, that penchant for flight in order. It's like a fast break and uh, uh, pushing that envelope in an NBA game. You got to move fast and keep your opponent off their guard by using that speed. Absolutely incredible show of agility as we're talking about that, that speed. Phoenix Star. However, what, what, uh, -oh. Uh, oh. It's basic uh -oh. physics. If you're going at a clip and you hit a, an immovable force. What I was going to say is that the uh, uh, Ronchi Rico and Jacob Cabrera absolutely have the strength behind them, but we're not sure if that's going to take the, uh, the advantage away from the speed demons that these boys are. Phoenix Star showing it off, but no, hitting that elbow. Oh. Ronchi Rico 
taking Phoenix Star, looking for a clothesline. Phoenix Star had it scouted, able to get a roll up, just a two count on the shoulders of Ronchi Rico. Oh my gosh. There we go. That Beautiful it. corkscrew into the arm drag for Phoenix Star. Nice chopping action. Tag made. In comes Okre. We're going to see some, some, some of the tag team offense that Los Luchas is no, so well known for. Right. This is what it's. This is their style. This is their game. Wow. And they're about to show it. Splash in the corner. Zokre follows up with a running knee. And now pummeling to the back of Latino Meat. Second verse, same as the first. Here they go. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. Wow. Incredible execution. Able to crack off a strike right to the jaw of Cabrera, who is leaving those boys Man. reeling. Oh, cover for Zobre. Just a two count. Zobre shifting his momentum. I say, can't give him that time to recover. Got to keep on him. Phoenix Star and Zobre know this. These guys are no strangers to each other in the ring. I'll tell you, Jacob Barron just can't get no satisfaction. Oh, I love that. Can I write that? Can I keep that one? You can keep that, yes. Write that one down. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my word. Oh my God. Gonna leave a knife edge palm print across the chest of Cabrera. Oh my gosh. Picking him up, planting it down. Thank God we have high ceilings. What was that? Oh, oh no, back breaker. Throwing him right into him. Oh. And, and, and Los Luchas are out. Jeez, oh man. Oh, Phoenix Star brought to his feet by Ronchi Rico. Look for that stalling oh. suplex. See, this is where the brutality comes into play. Once you get these guys slowed down and they've been weakened, they can just start pulling and punching and just tearing them down. Oh, cover from Che Cabrera, Latino meat. Knocking them down like a pile of Jenga bricks. Here we go. Come Ooh. on, Che Cabrera. Our crowd here trying to get behind Los Luchas, yeah. giving them some invigoration, some energy, but so great now. Look like he was trying to make it into the ring to come to the aid of his tag team partner. Right, Instead, gets a boot from Ronchi Rico for his troubles. Who wants a size 12 in their face? Not so great. Double oh. underhook. Oh my oh. gosh. Planted spine first over the knee of Ronchi Rico. That is the way to clip the wings of any bird. Just crack him in the back like that. Tag made. In comes Latino Meat. Showing off a little of their own Lucia style. Come to Zaddy with the cover. Ooh. Just a two count for Che. Zogre, look at him, just trying to fire himself up, trying to get that energy, but finding himself in a brutal headlock. Air supply being cut off. Right, just a big adrenaline rush there. Zogre off the ropes. Oh my gosh, diverting oh, the, oh wow, oh. taking the knee out from underneath Che. Using a little bit of their own strength to knock it down that tree. Oh, oh no, no. Zokre looking for the cross no, no, body, no, no. but. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh, jeez, oh. using the body. It's a triple up. The oh middle. my gosh. Oh, oh DVD no. right onto his partner. Jacob Barrow pinning both of Los Luchas. <laughs> that is some serious attitude. If you're going to try and pin both these guys, I mean, that's a bragging race Jacob is going to have. I mean, not only one of the longest reigning Santino Brothers heavyweight champions, but trying to pin two two tag team partners at the same time. Right. And two highly skilled and talented ones at that. I mean, that's, ooh. Here we go. Oh, oh no, look. Phoenix Star lands on his feet. What in the uh, world? Uh, 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 Head that, scissors off the shoulders that of is, Phoenix Star from Zokra. That is what we call tag team work. That's the chemistry you get from having been a team since 2002. They can finish each other's sentences and each other's moves. Oh, look at this. Oh my oh, gosh. And yes. the head scissors off the back of Zokra from Phoenix Star. Close line from the heavens above. Showing the reasons why they are so revered in the SoCal wrestling community through the lucha and everything. Here we go. Oh. Breaking the hold of Los Luchas. 
Zogre looking for that, possibly a satellite DDT, but now finding himself, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, they're right in the back of the skull and the neck. Oh, getting a back elbow from Phoenix Stars, Che Cabrera, after having just trying to decapitate uh, Zopre. Raji Rico trying once again for that lariat. Nails it the second time. Oh, Spear! Oh, there we go. All four competitors laid out in the ring. Where is this even going to go? And you've got to imagine, Halston, that spear from Phoenix Star, was that just a, a desperation? Throw all of your body, throw all of your might at your opponent just to get a little a little something. You can almost see the air fly out of his lungs and go into the rafters after that one. Ooh. Look at I, I just caught sight of, of our heavyweight champion, Ray Roses, at ringside. Hasn't look been at, a factor yet, but I don't think he needs to. But look at just the, 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 the focus, the determination, and, and the concern. I think Ray Roses is realizing those luchas are worthy competitors. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. This is oh, no. In stereo. Pissed. Hey. Oh, no. Hey. Bums out. Hey, dinner and a show, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's called. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh double oh, drop oh, kick. Oh, oh. Leaving them with their pants down. Hide your children, hide your wives. There's a full moon out tonight, darling. I didn't know that there was supposed to be a full moon this early in 2020, but there's, oh, my gosh. There's You're two, seeing some stars oh, in action. Oh, my God. Does somebody have a shield for the front row? What is happening over there? Good lordy. Front row ticket holders getting their money's worth tonight, Halston. And a double full moon to bat. Woo! Holy moly. Yeah, and this show has barely begun. My God. This early in the match, we've had intergender action. We're now seeing tag team action, full moons and... And butts. Hey. Hey. That's, not, that's my kind of party. Oh, here we go. Oh, Ronji Rico, look out. Here it comes. Double. Stereo 619s. Somebody call up San Diego. They're going to need their area code back. Oh, here we go, Che. Oh. oh, wow. Double clotheslines take out both Los Luchas. See, I told you that power is going to come to play. Sooner or later, and the pecs and those shoulders and those arms of Che Cabrera. All right, all right. Calm down. Woo. Calm down. Come on. We're watching a match, am I, Halston. Am I, am, I, am I revealing myself there? Oh my god. All right. I thought you were a vegetarian. I am now. Oh, here we go. Wow. Chase trying to get the attention of Ranchi Rio. Get him up to try and take out. But Phoenix, Phoenix Star is just clobbering away oh, at Cabrera. Oh my god, see him. Oh, see oh, stars. rolling through the shoulders of Ranchi Rico. We're down. Oh, oh my gosh. What? Did Rico get a shoulder up, or is that it? What is happening? Wait a minute. Oh my word, it seems like a, a bit of contention. The match is, match is still going on. Okay, that was, that was a two count. Our, our, our official is saying that that's a two count. Listen, referee Isaac Hayes is the one in charge there. I didn't see it, because I don't have the close camera right in front of my face, but I'm telling you what, they're ahead. Wow. There is, what is happening here? Wow, what's what's happening is that this this match is, is continuing. Right, there has been no belt, there has been no winner. No, no, oh, wait oh, a minute, wow. Jake Just Cabrera a, sees that. Jake Cabrera going to town, taking out both Los Luchas. Listen, he's gonna answer answer what's going to be taken care of here. This che is Cabrera has had it. Now, Zocre left by his lonesome in the ring with Che Cabrera. Wait, what is Ronchi Rico doing? He's not, I mean, he's trying to get... All right, he's coming back. All right, I was like, did he just abandon him? No, here we go. No, this is the, the brotherhood. Oh, oh, my gosh. That is the And Che Cabrera, point. that's got to be it. That's... What? What? Well, that is it. Great Rose.
Ramos is, is looking confused. He's looking for a microphone. Oh no, Ray Rosas what just took out Zobrand ringside. Ray Rosas looking Frustrations for a mounting for the savior of Santino Bros. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this. Ray Rosas is pacing like an angry cat, ready to pounce. Pacing. Angry. Wait a minute. Here, what is. Wow. Oh, he just broke the belt. What a sign of disrespect to the Santino Brothers belt and the universe. I mean, the history of that belt. He is. Oh, here we go. This is what we call punishment and torture. Wait oh a my minute. gosh. Slice Boogie. What, what, is, that, what is that? Tire iron? Where in the hell is Slice Boogie? What the hell is Slice Boogie doing with a tire? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Whoa. Say what you you will about Slice Boogie, born and bred, Queens, New York. Whatever beef he has with Los Angeles, he will defend Santino's to the death. I am absolutely positive Slice Boogie knows how to use that tire iron. I don't doubt Slice Boogie has used something like that before. Whoa, 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 whoa. he almost clocked right, so close. This man is no stranger to a tussle, but now here he is coming to the aid of Los Luchas, as we said, trainers of Lucha Libre at Santino Brothers Dojo. Let's hear what she has to say. I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm out here today because I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because I keep getting looked over here at Santino Bros. I was undefeated most this whole last year. Undefeated. But guess who's up for the title? Somebody I helped train, Slice Boogie. Not me. Guess who's part of the Battle Royale? All those dudes I helped train. Not me. Where's my number one contendership? Where's my title match? I've been consistently one of the best. Consistently one of the best people out of Santino Bros. Why don't I have a title shot? Great uh, question. And I know, I know it's not because I'm a woman because Ruby Rays gets shot after shot after shot. I have to agree. And here she is getting another one. But you know what? Respect to her. Respect to all those people that work their asses off. I just want the respect that they're getting. I'd have to agree again. Not too much to ask. And tonight, I have a match against Andy Brown. Someone that I think is very good. And I'm gonna make an example of him. Wow. Ooh, strong words from the killer man. Scheduled for one hall. Introducing first, from Des Moines, Iowa, she is the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe! And introducing her opponent, from Avocado Heights, California, weighing in at 205 pounds. He is the last of a dying breed, Uptown Andy Brown! Is this gonna be a match of style versus substance, or a little bit of both from each of these competitors? We're about to find out. I mean. Andy Brown, I think, trying to gauge the uh, the support of the crowd. All right, Heather Monroe. Oh, look at that. A little mockery and a little dance of her own. I love it. Heather Monroe, not a stranger to, to the mind games that can come into play. 
she can't let this crowd affect her though. She is focused and determined as we heard when she spoke earlier. She is about to try to make an example out of Mr. Andy Brown. I would use the word impassioned. Oh yeah. She, you, you could just feel the, the fire coming out of her, her flames. Flames oh. on the side of her face. Oh yes, I understand that reference. Strong lock up, these two tie up in the center of the ring. Heather against the ropes. Andy Brown creates a little distance. Oh, a little respectful or, I don't know. I mean, that was, that was an interesting start there, but let's see how this pans out. Heather with the rear waist lock on Andy Brown. It's one thing she's got uh, against her right away. A little bit of a weight advantage and obviously a little bit of a muscular advantage, but I mean, Heather Monroe is absolutely zero slouch in that ring. She will take Andy Brown to task when she's ready. And I mean, think about it, Heather Monroe, no stranger to intergender action by any means. She she put away the DK, uh, DKC back in August and put up her shut up. But think about it, this woman has never had a title shot. She's never had a title opportunity here at Santina Brothers. It's absolutely outrageous. Right, and I mean, listen, Maybe she needs to speak up a little louder. Maybe she needs to get into that locker room. Maybe she needs to take on somebody like a Ruby Reyes to show that she can destroy people twice her size. Oh, here we go. Well, speaking of someone twice her size, she's contending with a, a pretty brutal force here in SoCal. Like we said before, it looks like fun and games. It looks like a nonstop party. But at the end of the day, Andy Brown's one of the hardest hitters in Southern California. Oh, there we go. A little Heather Monroe lucha action right there. Oh, Quesadora oh. arm dragged to Andy Brown, sends him flying. There we go, trying to get that momentum. Let's see if she can continue to capitalize. Heather off the ropes. Andy follows suit. Oh. Tripped up. There Drop kick. <laughs> Andy Brown left reeling. Heather off the ropes. Sent on. Right to the midsection of Andy Brown. Heather going for the cover, here to prove herself. Right, not hesitating whatsoever. She knows she has to keep the attack on Andy Brown. Oh, he's going to take a little breather outside, trying to get there. Oh, not a good idea. Heather knows what she's doing. Heather Monroe barely missing a beat. Andy Brown takes her face first oh. into the corner. Oh, she's going to knee up. strike. Oh, that makeup's going to get messed up real fast. Oh, oh my gosh, curse splat. Oh. Big boot to the jaw. Uh. Andy, Monroe, Andy Monroe, Andy Brown basking in the adulation of the crowd here at Santino Bros. Well, if it's a double DQ or a double count, I will be, the winner is Andy Monroe. There you go. Or Heather Brown, whichever way. Either one, however you want to slice it. Right. Oh. Oh, but here we are, that forearm shot, the impact. She's going to be star seeing stars after that one. Oh. Talk about trying to be a star, she's gonna be seeing stars. Great. Oh my gosh, Andy Brown just tees off. Oh my gosh, he was trying to make a field goal. There it is, right? Three and, points. And, and it's good. That's a sports reference, right? Yes. And it's good. That is correct. Heather Moreau trying to collect herself in a crumpled heap, firing a desperation shot to the midsection. Andy Brown taking a little too time to size her up. She was getting right back up. Oh, here we go. There we go. If you can go strike for strike with Andy Brown. Oh, God, spine buster. Oh, my God. And the cover from Andy Brown. She bounced like two inches off that mat after that one. Good God. The Reeling a little bit after that one. Andy Brown's got to get on that attack and stay with it. Otherwise, she's going to recover quickly again. Heather Monroe collecting herself. She didn't make it to through 2019 nearly completely undefeated by giving up, but no, whoa, looks whoa, back whoa. instead. Here we go. Quickly oh. rolling the shoulders of Andy Brown down to the mat, able to duck a clothesline. Oh. And a big old DDT oh. from Heather. Slapping his face in the middle of the ring like a pancake. Oh. Heather Moreau with a cover on Andy Brown. Andy Brown kicks out. A little desperation there. Andy Brown wasn't seeing where he was. He didn't know, he doesn't even know he's in Southern California right now after that one. Whew. Heather Monroe fired up, so furious, so ferocious. She's angry and she has a reason to be. That garbage can, Ruby Rays taking all the shots from her. But Heather, uh. Heather Monroe not completely unrecognized. She is nominated for SoCal Uncensored Women's Wrestler of the Year. 
with good reason. Look at the just the momentum, the force. You're watching the reasons right now. Exactly. Oh, and here comes another reason. Look out, Andy Brown. Woo. Oh. Oh, Andy Brown escaping the corner just in time, escaping that splash. Oh. Oh, oh no, Andy Brown caught up on the middle rope and has oh, a oh. double stomp straight to the back of Andy Brown, hooking the leg of the last of a dying breed. Two count only. These two opponents are taking it to each other and I'm loving it, living for it. We'll have to give myself a little fan Yeah, please share some of the, your, your fan with me. This Absolutely, have some Match is heating breeze. up. My lordy. I told everybody the temperature in this place was gonna heat up and it's hot. I spoke with Andy Brown before the match and he said he just wants to be the best and to do that he needs to beat the best that Santino's has to offer. There's certainly a lot of respect that he has for Heather Monroe. You have to. If she's been undefeated that long, you have to have Heather. respect for her. Oh my God! Oh. Heather was looking for Bitch Better Have My Money. Andy Brown with the cutter, hooking the leg and that's, oh my gosh. Resilience from the Killer Bay. Oh, this is, this is, oh. Look at the incredulousness on the face of Andy Brown. He just, Heather Moreau went flying off the middle rope into a cutter, just completely demolished, and still finds it within herself to kick out. But I can tell Andy Brown is in his head, and that is not a good place to be. You're just gonna run on instinct and testosterone and all the things you need to get through. The, the powerhouse it is the Killer Bay, because right now is not the time to get that crowd involved, Heather's. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh Andy Brown Whoa. looking for a finisher. Heather Moreau catches. Oh my gosh, and now strikes are exchanged. In the center of the ring, a little chop. Oh my goodness, these two. Turning into a bar brawl. Somebody get their phones out, record this for the internet. Lordy. Whoa. Heather firing off. Oh my gosh, knee strike to the face. Big pump kick. Andy Brown. Oh, jeez. Heather. Right Heather oh. is just laying in to Andy Brown. She is not taking oh, any of this. Oh, my gosh. Looking for the Tiger suplex. Oh. Blocks him with the forearm. There it is. Oh. Andy Brown is just reeling, balancing himself off the ropes, but fires through. Figures out a way to recover. Where did that boost of energy come from? Oh my goodness. Both of these competitors expending all of their energy just to stay alive at this point. I don't even think it's a, it's about the win anymore. I think they just want to survive. I told you this could be the Heather Brown or Andy Monroe because they are both. This could be a double count out. It would not surprise me at all. Actually, it would be a count out. It would be a count. Oh, come on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two cats about to go at it in the back alley. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, what in the world? Heather Monroe trying to suplex Andy Brown. Andy Brown looking for that pile driver. Reading each other like a book. Hopefully that counter will not. Oh, oh. FYF. Oh. Right into the pile driver. Oh. Fatality. Fatality. Yeah. Hook in the leg. That's it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Heather Monroe is here to take care of business. And if she's got to give that desperation kick out, that is the, oh my God, Andy Brown is stunned. This truly is a testament to just how fired Heather Monroe is about this. Heather Monroe searching so desperately for opportunities, demanding, not asking for, demanding respect. She is willing, she is not willing to give it up at all. And this is proof right there in the ring. Andy Brown cannot waste any time here to count, crowdsource this. He has got to finish her. Andy Brown with a little, a little body language for our, our audience. Here we go, God, Heather. R.I.P. Heather Monroe. Look for that pack of Packers pile, pile, pile driver. Oh, Heather! What? what in the world? Like a cat landing on oh. her feet! Oh, oh my oh. gosh! Cracking could off be, could the be. suplex. Oh. Bad bitch on no go! Heather Monroe! Hook in the legs of Andy there Brown! It there it is! <laughs> There is certainly 
no way that anyone in their right mind could deny the greatness of Heather Monroe after a match. dragged in if it isn't the superstar Jake Atlas the people are on their feet they are seeing the superstar in the ring match later tonight but it looks like Jake Atlas has something to say Atlas making his final Santino Brothers appearance right here in the ring for At Last. Obviously, we all know what tonight is. Um, I'm glad that I'm here with all of you guys. I'm very thankful that I'm having the opportunity to be here with my school, my family, all of you guys. And tonight, I'm obviously wrestling rock superstar Joey Chaos. I'm supposed to come out here on the script. It says I'm supposed to come out here and congratulate you and tell you how happy I am about where you're going. But you know what? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. You know, all I asked you, Jake, all I asked you was to stay one more season with Santino Brothers. Help us out here on the farm. Help us train the next coming group coming up. That's all I asked you. Do what they did for you. First chance you got, you sold out. First chance you got, you signed that big contract. Well, you know what? I don't really care, because you know what? You see this right here? You see this right here? When you walked into Santino Brothers in 2015, every student signs a waiver of liability. And in that waiver, there's a contract. All you students are too eager to sign that waiver. You don't read it. In that contract, it says, your first major contract with a major company, 80% of that contract goes to me. 80% of that contract goes to the house. What do you mean? I I gotta do what's right for Santino Brothers. So go ahead and go to Florida, become the Hall of Famer that said you wanna become, but you know what? Your money's coming to me. Does that piss you off, Jake? Does that make you mad, Jake? Huh? Does that piss you off? Uh, hey, look at me, look at me, huh? What are you doing? That's a female. What are you doing, Jake? What are you getting them out of here? What are you doing? Get out of here, Jake. How dare you? How dare you do that? That's my wife. For everything we've done for you, this is the thanks we get. This is the thanks we get, Jake. Well, you know what? Screw you. I'll see you tonight. Well, I don't believe that ended the way wow. Jake or Joey wanted to end.
He's not wrong. He was there. Eli Everfly, what is it, two thirds best in the world after beating The Miz on oh. SmackDown? Already showing the disrespect. The match hasn't even started yet. Lucas Riley, another competitor, never had a, uh, a, a title shot. That's Antina Brothers. And as I was saying earlier, Matt Vandegra feeling a little disenchanted at Santino's feels that like he's been overlooked only as a multi-person competitor. This, I'm telling you what, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the audience, if you are watching at home, do not blink. This is going to be ridiculously wild. Here wow. it goes, right off Without the bat. Out missing a beat, stunning from Eli Everfly to Matt Vandegrift. Eli off the ropes. Oh my God. Starting it off hot, Eli Everfly. Look at this, going right over the ropes. What is, oh. Wow, Asai Moonsault to the outside. I hate to say it, I told you so, but I told you so. This is how fast it's gonna move, folks. Douglas James sizing up a ladder already. He's gotta take some weapons into that ring, start taking care of business. It is all ladders are legal here in Santino Warfare. And it looks like there's a tug of war ensuing between Eli Everfly and Doug James. Lucas Riley, oh, oh my gosh, dives oh. into the ladder, seems to rebound off of it and take out Eli and Douglas in the in the act. Matt Vandergriff came into this match with sheer anger, sheer attitude, and he is pissed. He does not like any of these three competitors. He's about to show why. <laughs> I don't even know oh, what he's geez. doing here. Vandergriff went so far as to say the fans don't deserve to see him in action. Everyone makes such a fuss over Eli and Doug. He said he's not the fans' favorite, so why should they be his? Oh, this is a oh, no. precarious oh, no. spot to Vandegra be Oh, no. Holy! Oh, holy moly! How to recover 101 with Matt Vandergriff jumping off that ladder, landing on that rope, and taking out both Lucas Riley and Eli Heverfly. I'm telling you what, Kathy, I am not going to be able to breathe through half this match. You're going to have to hold me. We can hold each other later, my goodness, Halston. This is absolutely incredible. Doug James now setting up a ladder in the corner, but Lucas Riley drop kicks oh. Doug back first into said ladder. Vandegrift clubbing between the shoulder blades, uppercut to Lucas Riley. Lucas, oh my gosh, using the ladder to get some leverage. Let me tell you, what kind of strategy does anyone even go into a match like this? I mean, do you just figure it out? Oh my God, oh, oh. monkey flip, Vandegrift spine first, colliding with the runs of that ladder. Listen, I hate being interrupted, but that was absolutely necessary. Good God, that ladder hit. Douglas James showing his, his fortitude. Oh no, Lucas Riley is not in a good spot. Oh, oh Doug James shoulder first into the post. Vandegrift takes out Lucas oh, oh, oh. Riley what? and dives on to the rest of the competitors of this match. Vandegrift trying to get a title opportunity to really show his stuff as a singles competitor, not just a multi-man match competitor. I mean, he was just taking out the security guards. That front row is at risk. They have been clear the building. This is gonna get wild and ridiculous. And it already, we're only a few minutes in the match. It's not even, in, oh my God. Whew. I know, you're breathless, Halston. Oh. Austin, we have to work on your cardio if you're gonna call matches like this at I Santino's. Where to God, whoa. Eli over the top rope, ducks the lariat and gets some strikes in. Seesawing between Vandegrift and James. Backhand, palm strike. 
And now a DDT oh. to Douglas James from Eli Everfly. And Eli, oh my gosh. Oh no! <laughs> Destroys Vandegrift. <laughs> Eli's known for doing that move and he telegraphed it perfectly. Nailed Vandegrift. Now he's working on Lucas right outside the ring. He's looking around. What is he gonna? I'm afraid what he's gonna find out there. Oh Eli no, he's looking under the ring. Oh geez. What do we say? No rules. Another Here comes ladder. another ladder. Oh my god. Endless ladders happening right now. I mean they're sprinkled all over the arena right now. Eli Everfly just picking one up. He wants a fresh one. Each of the competitors in this match are out for Blood Halston. Oh, the title clearly. shot, the shot at that heavyweight title here at Santino Brothers. Someone here is gonna go on to face either Ray Roses or Slice Boogie, whoever comes out on top in the title match tonight. Holy oh. Davey, Davey D straight into the ladder. It looks like that ladder Eli Everfly just put a dent in it, yeah. Oh, there might be a dent in Eli Everfly. You never know what. Lucas Riley coming back. Douglas James ready for it though. Oh. Kick to the mush backhand. Holy gee, you're like crack of the, oh my gosh. I just want to make sure, do we have 911 on speed dial? Because I feel like there is going to be an ambulance needed after oh. this match. Douglas James off the back of Vandegrift. Oh. Brain buster to Lucas Riley. Oh. Vandegrift with the step of Ben Zagiri to Douglas James. Still had the energy to take that out, and he is working. Douglas James in that corner. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Vandegrift. Has fire in his eyes. Slides underneath the ladder. Dallas James, oh. oh my word. That is a precision move. One inch away from getting either decapitated or losing a body part. I am, oh my God. Eli oh. Everfly meets Douglas James on the apron. Thank God I have a fan. I am catching the vapors. This is unbelievable. Oh. Wow. I can't tell if that was spit or a tooth. Probably both. I, I'm sure there was no, a no, no. Oh, no, 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 Douglas James. No, 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 no. Pile driver oh, to Eli Everfly. Oh my God! Oh, right God. on the apron. What did I say about 911? Somebody might want to call them. Holy smokes! Douglas James taking a moment to survey the destruction that's happening here in Santino Warfare. Oh. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through the rest of this match. This has been insane. You called it, Kathy Caminelli. Douglas James now searching underneath the apron for a, oh my, it's a door. Oh no. And this match is a proverbial door to new opportunities for whoever comes out the winner. All four of these men absolutely are deserving in one way or another, <laughs> and I'm sure they'll tell you why. However, I don't wanna go, I don't, who is gonna go through this door? Is somebody knocking on it? Somebody, <laughs> don't answer that door, whoever it is. Oh no. Shots exchanged between Lucas Riley and Eli Everfly. Lucas Riley, I believe, had plenty of time to re-energize on the outside of the ring. Let's see what he takes to Douglas James. Oh, oh, head butt from Douglas James. That's a heart the stopper if you ultimate ask me. hybrid wrestler. Oh, no. So many oh, different no. styles. Where is he going? Oh no. Oh wait. Oh. Kip up from Lucas Riley. Catches Douglas James. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sending the ladder careening to the mat. Right, the referees better look out. Oh, One, two. Oh, oh, just a two count. Just a been. two count. Lucas Riley being smart, trying to get up right away. Oh! Trying to make a Douglas-shaped imprint to match the Eli-shaped dent. Whatever brand ladder that is, there is going to be a stamp on Douglas James's head after that hit. Cool. Lucas Riley now setting up whatever i don't even know what he's gonna do oh but i am gosh, I i'm not sure if i can look i'm gonna be watching most of this match through my my fingers trying to cover my eyes i i, I usually say if you don't get nervous at least once during an eli everfly match you're not watching an eli everfly match but Wait, he's now we've got what is this he's oh, got a bent ladder no, that's no. in the shape of eli everfly's torso and head what is he doing here eli everfly speak of the devil 
rolls back into the ring. I feel like that was a Beetlejuice moment. I said his name three times and he appeared. See, there you go. Oh, I am full of magic. What oh, is, I can't, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Lucas and Eli both perched on this, this ladder. Oh my gosh. That ladder is gonna give at any moment. I am, oh. The ladder is looking worse for wear. Oh no. Not enough to hold the body weight, but Eli oh! Everett goes straight through. That is a case of do what you do what you can with what you got. Lucas Riley turns it around and again plays a reverse right on it. that ladder. Oh my back! Eli Everfly trying to rouse himself to come to Lucas Riley up on that top Sons. rope. Double oh! stop! Oh! Somebody check the back of Eli Everfly's skull. Oh my gosh, Lucas Riley with the hook and of the leg, but Vandegrift breaks it up. Eli Everfly rolling out to ringside and Vandegrift now. I hope there's a pillow and a blanket out there because Eli Everfly is gonna have to sleep after that one. Lucas Riley's still on fire though, not taking it from Vandegrift. Lucas Riley, a striking machine. Calling his shot. Let's Off see what rug. he does. Vandegrift. Oh. oh my. Jeez. I hope someone saved the receipt on that ladder. That front row almost got a full taste of ladder. Matt Vandegrift. Oh no. And now Vandegrift. Oh. The no, legs no, no. of Lucas Riley sandwiched between the rungs of the ladder. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. The whole body of Lucas Riley is just being stomped away. Caught. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. my God. That almost hurt Vandegrift more than it did Riley, good God. But Matt Vandegrift not afraid to sacrifice his body, hooking the leg of Lucas Riley, just a two count. Matt Vandegrift will stop at nothing to prove himself as, as so much more than what he's been dealt here at Santina Brothers. He feels he's been overlooked for way too long and he's here to show himself by getting that number one contender opportunity for the heavyweight title. Listen, real talk, he was second in the running for SoCal Rookie of the Year last year. What has he got right now? What is in his hand? Oh, I no. don't no, no. want to know. No, no. Is this what I think it is? I hope it's not. Oh. Oh, based on that reaction? Oh, no! Raining down a terror of tax. I do not like the looks of this. Eli Everfly. Don't run into the trap, Oh, God, Eli. no, 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 no. Vandegrift has got Eli Everfly. The front row is closing their eyes. They don't want to see this either. Good God, what is going to happen? Oh, no, Eli. Eli, slice spread! Oh! Vandegrift lands on the tax! Vandegrift set it up and Eli knocked it down, strike on the back with all those thumbtacks. Ah, oh God. And this is what we give you at Santino Brothers. This is Santino tough. This crowd is on their feet. They are living for this violence. Ah, I don't know how much more I can take, but I am here for it, Kathy. Hold me close. What is gonna happen next? Paulson, this is Santino warfare. This is absolute rid ridiculous madness. If I could be selfish for a minute, I am very glad Hustle and Muscle are not in this match right now. I don't know if they'd survive all that. Good God. This is too much. I wouldn't want to put them through this, this is what I should say. This My is not for, for those with weak stomachs or, or, oh gosh, fragile sensibilities. Vandegrift is now poised against the corner. Almost like a crucifix in the corner being set up. What is Eli ever, is this? Eli Everfly oh. up to no good. Oh. He is here to cause a ruckus. Yeah, Vandegrift still punching with Tax, still stuck in his back. I mean, Vandegrift knows that that's not where he wants to be. That is, that is, oh, oh God, no, oh, no, no. no. Oh. Loading oh. Eli up on his shoulders. I am not. Eli fighting his way out. This is not a good place for either of these folks to be. Oh my God, oh my God, no, no, no. Oh. Holy, oh my God, Eli. Eli, power bump by Vandegrift. Right onto that, oh my gosh, that hard Some, steel ladder. 
Somebody check him. Get a doctor over there. What is he? Oh, oh my God. Drop kick from Douglas James. Drop kick in the dreams out of Matt Vandegrift's head. Vandegrift, a man unhinged. Oh, here we go. Knock, knock. Oh, Who's no. at the door? Wait a minute. Oh, God. Vandegrift fighting. Oh, no. No, no, no. Pops oh, up Doug James. Spear! Oh. Spear through the ladder! Holy sh... I can't even say it. I almost... Oh. Douglas James, it's like a horror movie. Don't look behind you. A knee strike from Lucas Riley. He's waiting. This crowd is on the edge of their seat. They're almost falling out of their chair. What is next? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is I don't Lucas like the Riley? look in Lucas Riley's eyes. I don't like the look in Lucas Riley's eyes. What is he pointing at? Is he uh, pointing at that? No, no, no. Oh, he Each does. of these competitors we saw walk beneath that giant steel ladder. Listen, no one in this match needs any sort of encouragement, but clearly this crowd is far enough to see some more violence. Chick, he's getting the security to help him out. What is gonna happen with this ginormous 25 foot ladder? I don't even know, is that 25, 30 feet? Oh my, God. it's almost as tall as the scaffolding. It's too damn tall is how tall it is. But Lucas Riley, never someone to shy away from a fight, never someone to shy away from death-defying tactics. Oh my God. Lucas Riley leading a team of security detail, showing exactly where he wants that ladder. Oh my God, this crowd wants more violence. They want this ladder in the ring. They, oh. Lucas Riley climbing rung by rung. Listen, I'm a big fan of the one-upmanship game, but this is, I mean, this is taking it to another level. How far is too far? Douglas James now meeting Riley on the other side of the ladder. The oh, two no. duking it out. Oh my God, two competitors on top of a mountain. One of them, there is this, there's no safety net. There is, this is a cliff that one of these competitors are bringing, both of them are gonna fall right off. I cannot, I'm gonna have to close my eyes. Oh my God, headbutts from Douglas James using that noggin to good use. No, no, oh! Lucas Riley! Taking out the entire security band on that side of the ladder. What is Douglas James thinking? Douglas James, we know him for that notorious frog splash that eat your heart out. He cannot be thinking about hitting this from that type of height. I can't look, Kathy, watch Oh God, for no, me. no, eat your heart out! Oh! And the cover from Douglas James on Vandegrift, that's it! Heavyweight Championship, Ironheart, Douglas James! Halston, I think we need some time to collect ourselves because that was absolute madness, brutality, just... I wish I had four more hands to hold four more fans. I need some oxygen after this match. Good Lordy Almighty, I am praying for these competitors to be able to walk after this. Douglas James clearly being able to walk, wincing in pain from what he has just been put through. Douglas James, hand raised in victory, but can barely summon the strength to enjoy his own celebration. Making his way, climbing to the top of this ladder to celebrate the fact that he has just become the number one contender for the Santino Brothers heavyweight title, Halston. Singles match scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Santino Brothers heavyweight championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Queens, New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Slice Boogie! Slice Boogie doing it for Queens, doing it for his hometown, doing it for the projects. He wants to bring that title home. And introducing the champion, being accompanied to the ring by Che Cabrera and Ronchi Rico from Antelope Valley, weighing in at 191 pounds. 
He is the Santino Brothers Savior and the Santino Brothers Heavyweight Champion, Ray Rosas. As I was saying, Slice Boogie better have two sets of eyes in the back of his head. He's got Raji Rico and Che Cabrera ringside. This is, unless partners in crime decide to show their faces, this is gonna be a battle for the ages for Slice Boogie to overcome. We saw DKC get laid out by Ruby Rays. I doubt he's gonna be making any attempt to, to come to the aid of, of Slice Boogie. I believe that was Cam Gates. I know they, I know those two look a little alike, but at the end of the day, that was Cam Gates. Oh right, DKC we haven't even seen. Where is DKC? Oh, here we go. Slice Boogie lighting him up real quick because he knows he's oh. got, he is fired up in anger for what he got a taste of earlier. Let me tell you what, Slice Boogie has the physique, he has the musculature, he is power in that ring. And Ray Rosas, I don't think they've even, this is their first time meeting up. This, this is a new territory for Ray Rosas. First time in an actual matchup here at Santino Brothers. But now Raunchy Rico making his presence known up on the apron, trying to cause a distraction, shake the focus of Slice Boogie. But see, there it is. There is that that New York passion, that New York underbelly of anger, wow. anger and coming from where he comes from. That is what fires him up even more. You wanna you wanna take three on one? He, I'm sure Slice Boogie has done more than that. Hey, Slice Boogie spoke about this on social media. He said he's been jumped. He's done some some jumping, a quick cover from Slice Boogie trying to take out the champion and uh, get the championship for himself in the New York Minute. Forearm strike to the jaw of Ray Rosas. Ray Rosas is the, oh my God. See the, the air that Ray Rosas just was, sailed through? That was a three pointer from those Knicks. Let me tell you what, Slice Boogie, if there was a strategy here, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, oh, I thought, oh, oh no, Slice Boogie. Off the ropes, out to ringside, over the top rope, throwing all of his body weight. Did the air traffic control at LAX clear that flight? What in the, what in the Slice Boogie? Good God, let me tell you what, Slice Boogie, this might be the smartest strategy ever. He couldn't get through Jake Atlas. Maybe he was just waiting in the wings for somebody like a Ray Rosas. Maybe he saw that he could take down Ray Rosas when he couldn't take down Jake Atlas. Who knows? Slice Boogie, also a SoCal Uncensored Rookie of the Year nominee. It had an incredible breakout year coming out of the Santino Brothers Dojo last fall and has, has really made some incredible, oh my gosh, I was gonna say his incredible trajectory, but oh, his physical trajectory is, cut there. short by Ray, or by uh, Rico and Che. Referee Isaac Hayes taking control of the odds in favor of Ray Rosas kicking out Raji Rico Che Cabrera for attacking Slice wow. Boogie. Oh, oh, the odds just got even for Slice Boogie. The, the zaddies being sent to the back. What kind of? I mean, obviously, no assistance that they can that they can be to our current champion Ray Rosas as he defends this title. Now Ray flying solo. Ray had attacked Jake Atlas. Ray Badu Tito. Che, Rico, they had all been here and talked about the idea of the, the brothership, the brothership that Santino Brothers used to have when they were all uh, active here. And, and starting the, starting it from the backyards of Raji Rico, I mean, let me tell you what. Oh, the violence and the punishment continues from Ray Rosas. I mean, Slice Boogie just not being able to recover, and Ray Rosas is fired up ever having his, his compatriots kicked out of this match. Ray Rosas said that 2020 was his year. It was his year of being the savior of Santino Brothers. Earlier he said he was here to vanquish false gods and false idols like Jake Atlas. I think yes. the main thing is it's the, the return of the old guard. Absolutely, and he is currently taking Slice Boogie to church and putting him on his knees to pray that he can make it out of this match. Ray Rosas has never, he said he's never been given opportunities, he's never been given support like people like Jake Atlas, like this new crop of Santino's talent. And honestly, a, a title defense here at Atlas would solidify in Ray's mind his status as the best Santino to walk the earth. The, the second reign 
of his Santino Brothers title championship. Let me tell you what, Ray Rosas can't be the get off my lone old bitter man. I mean, that's almost okay boomer territory, like letting these young cats come in and take his, his turf and his title. Let me tell you what, Ray Rosas, your attitude is gonna win this match. Slice Boogie's got dumpsters filled with attitude and he will pour and rain them down on you if you keep that up. But he's currently just torturing Slice Boogie in that ring. Yeah, if Ray Rosas keeps it up, Slice Boogie is gonna have an arm dangling from his shoulder. Ray Rosas is just sizing up. He, he is in control completely right now and, oh, wait a minute. Might have spoken too soon as Boogie shooting off some, oh no, back on that arm is Ray Rosas. Oh no. Oh, here we go, working that arm, possibly into submission. Oh no, is Slice Boogie gonna end his title opportunity with a submission? Oh, look at the long limbs of Slice Boogie able to make it to the ropes, forcing the break. There's one thing I know about Slice Boogie, he's got stems, baby, and that was much to his advantage right there, getting out of that submission. Slice Boogie now putting some distance between himself and his opponent. Crowd turning on Ray Rosas. He is, he cannot give them the attention that they are looking for with those boos. Ray Rosa saying he's had it up to here with the new blood at Santino's. Knocking him straight down with one punch. Slice Boogie just got, I mean, this is a street fight at this point. Slice Boogie, that's his territory, but he is being taken to task. Oh, the torture continues. Slice Boogie now trying to bat away the boots of Ray Rosas that were standing on his shoulder. Ray using that momentum. Oh no! Uh, wearing him oh down. my gosh! I mean, cutting off the air supply. Right, taking up one limb, trying to punish him, and now he's just gonna squeeze the oxygen out of him. I mean, how is Slice Boogie going to recover from this? Slice Boogie, I mean. You want, you want him to go down swinging, but I mean, he can barely keep his eyes open. Oh no, Ray. Wearing him down. It is sleepy time for Slice Boogie. If he can finish this off. This is Ray Rose's mission. Is this gonna be it? Is Slice Boogie gonna, oh no, Slice. Slice Boogie's still alive. Able to collect, gather his strength. Back elbows to the midsection of Ray Rosas. Plants oh. down. Grabbing the reserves of oxygen in those lungs, but still doing damage to himself with that backbreaker. That back drop, I should say. That shoulder is wounded. But is Slice Boogie gonna react like a wounded animal? He's gonna come out of that corner, fighting angry. Let's see what he's got left. Whatever gas is still left in the tank, a Slice Boogie is gonna be all steam ahead at Ray Rosas. Oh. Back using, elbow. Using that good arm, what he's got left. Oh. oh my God. That long leg just took an extension course right into Ray Rosas' face. I thought Ray Rosas was gonna go through the mat. Hook in the leg, are we gonna see a new champ? Oh Not just yet. Ray Rosas still fighting. More than anything, I think Ray Rosa sees the title that he holds as a glorified paperweight. He just doesn't want it to fall into the hands of a Santino. I mean, did you see him damage it earlier tonight? I mean, what kind of a disrespectful, I mean, unbelievable. So, Slice Boogie getting. Disposed to the apron, able to slam Ray Rosa's. Oh! And we have the German Slice Plex. Oh, look. Barely able to get both shoulders to cover. Oh. Ray, or Slice, Slice, Slice's gotta be racking his brain. Right, he is frustrated. He cannot let that get to him. If he's gonna take that Santino Brothers Championship back home with the, the youthful insurgence of the rookie seasons of somebody like Slice Boogie, he has gotta chop and slice and get his way through the rest of what Ray Roses has left. Oh no. And now headlock from Ray, clobbering the back of the head of Slice Boogie. Oh! Back elbow to the jaw. Ray Rosa smashing and dashing. Oh! Slice being cracked in the back of the skull by that boot. Oh! Now Ray Rosa's 
the savior on high here at Santino's up on that top corner turnbuckle. Oh, back broken. This could be it. Holy moly. Make it count, Slice. Slice with the barely a cover. Oh. oh my God, shoulder up, shoulder up. A cover nonetheless, and it could have resulted in a brand new champion, but Ray Roses just can't say die. He cannot give up. They are worn out. They have been beating each other senseless. Which one of these competitors is going to make it to the end? I can't even. Whew. This is hard hitting. This is, this is the Santino Brothers title. And though it, it's barely anything, Ray Roses said he almost forgot to bring it because it's just not even a factor to him. It means everything here at Santino Brothers. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, reverses it. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. This Slice gets the shoulders down. Two count. Oh. Super kick to the jaw. Oh, oh my right God. This Ray Roses it. hooking the leg to retain his title. No. Let me tell you what, Slice Boogie does not want to wear two black eyes after this, losing the opportunity to be the champion against Jake Atlas and then having it slip away from him against Ray Rosas. That was a desperation kick out, but he knows he has got to last. He has got to make it to the end. But here we have what, what a perfect even matchup. The PIC aren't here to back up Boogie. The Zaddies aren't here to back up Ray. It's the closest thing we've seen to a fair fight since Ray and the other insurgents made their way into Santino Brothers. Oh, here we go. He is trying. I don't think he's getting, he is giving Slice Boogie. Oh, oh. I knew it. A little bit too much time for Slice Boogie to recover. Slice Boogie throwing all of his weight with that double ax handle blow, taking Ray Rosas down a few pegs. Oh my gosh, Ray lands on his feet. Oh no. Slice Boogie on the shoulders. Right back up into that carry. Oh. Breaks the back of Rosas. Slice Boogie. Oh, oh my God. Is. Power bomb this for the new God. heavyweight champion. No. Oh my God. Who, Halston. At this stage in the game, what is it going to take for someone to pick up the victory? I don't know, but you know, going to what Ray Rosas keeps talking about, being a savior of Santino Brothers, I am still at this moment trying to figure out what he's trying to save everybody from, or what he's trying to redeem everybody from here at Santino Brothers, because at the end of the day, Slice Boogie doesn't need to be saved. He needs to win, and he is this close, and it has been this close, is that Santino Brothers Championship gonna come home oh god well ray draped over that top rope oh boy. slice boogie oh, oh my god here it is this could be the end of it <laughs> oh no but ray shortening boogie's journey and boogie is right on top of the uh, empire state building if you will this is not going to be a fun fall for Either oh one God. of them, but oh God. Slice Boogie. Oh no, here we go. And a superplex ah! from Ray Rose as the current champion. Is it enough? Is it enough for Ray to hold on to that title? Ray not even opting for the cover instead, climbs Going to the top back. turnbuckle once more. Match? He's out of control. He is going right back up. Oh. Ray Rose's. Elbow drop. Right into the stern. This could be Oh, it. my God. The cover from the champion. Oh, what? my God. How? How? I almost fell out of my chair. What in the what in God's name does Slice Boogie have up his sleeve to be able to kick out of that huge elbow from Ray Rosas? Slice Boogie has pride. Slice Boogie has determination. Slice Boogie has a desire to bring that title home to Queens to represent Santino's represent his hometown, represent all the people that thought he wasn't going to make anything of himself back at home, back in those projects, back in Queens. This is for them if he can get through and finish it. They told him they couldn't be champions. And here is Slice Boogie in the ring against Ray Rosas wanting to prove the world wrong.
looks like Ray Rosas at this point almost toying with him, which is hard to believe what Ray Rosas has been through, how he's able to do that. Oh. Slice Boogie hanging onto the rope, but no! Isaac Hayes taken out of commission. This is scenes of last Santino Brothers show. I mean, no, Ray Rosas, who invited Rico and Jay to the party. He knows what he's doing. The referee is down, and there is. Oh! oh. Backfired on Ray Rosas. What is going to happen? Oh my God! Slice Boogie looking for the statue of misery. Here it is. This he's looking the leg. This is it. New champion. No, no, my God. Oh. <sighs> Wait a minute, referee Isaac. Referee Isaac Hayes notices the trouble that is on the end of the ring. Wait a minute. This spells trouble. But now, oh my God, Isaac Hayes. A referee so busy reprimanding the zaddies. Oh, no. The left overdrive. And now the hook of the leg. No. And Ray Roses retains. There's heavyweight champion Ray Roses. Well, a distracted referee was all it took for a low blow to slice Boogie at the hands of Ray Rosas. What do these chumps have to cheer about? I mean, what a cheap way to get Ray Rosas to keep that title in his grubby hands. I don't know what kind of saving he's doing in there, but somebody needed to save Slice Boogie, and it sure as hell wasn't the partners in crime this time. Cam Gates taken out of commission by Ruby Rays in the Battle Royal. DKC nowhere That's to be found. Right. Oh wait, look, okay. At least Slice Boogie can, or I'm sorry, at least Cam Gates has come to the aid of Slice Boogie. The, the, the least bit of, of assistance that he can provide to his partner in crime. Oh. Unfortunate situation. Get these grease balls out of my ring. I mean, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your Santino Brothers at last main event. And it is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first in the corner to my left, from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 212 pounds, he is the owner of Santino Brothers Wrestling, The Rock Superstar, Joey Chaos! Legacy in the middle of the ring with Joey Chaos. This is gonna be brutal. And introducing his opponent in the corner to my right. From El Monte, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the superstar, Jake Atlas! Jake Atlas has come so far in what's, what's just been a short career so far. You gotta wonder if, if Joey Chaos might have a, a, bit, a bit of bitterness, a bit of resentment for his, 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 me his, his student, mentee, his right. student, yeah. And let me tell you what, Jezebel would be normally out here to help Chaos and support her, but she got her clock clean Ooh. by an accidental kick by Jake Atlas, meant for Chaos, I mean, this is just, you can see the determination in Jake Atlas's eyes to take down the man who taught him almost everything he knew. Look at the tension between these two competitors. A little bit of Jammer Jack, a little bit of little talk. Oh Ooh. no, here we go. Quickly escalating, becoming a little physical at the hands of Joey Chaos. Wrong tie-up. Jake Atlas forcing Chaos to the corner. And realistically, uh, as far as advantage speaking, I mean, it's almost like Joey Chaos has 
a two-on-one here because this crowd is absolutely a thousand percent behind Jake Atlas. So he's got a double fight ahead of him. The crowd is an entity and it is certainly in the corner of Jake Atlas. A little mind games by Chaos. He knows what he's doing in that ring. And let me tell you what, you can't sleep on Chaos. This might be the resurgence of his career if he takes down someone with the likes of Jake Atlas. Look at Chaos though, his hands just gripping the hair of Jake Atlas. Tension and frustration and anger already happening. We're not even in minute one right now. Woo. There's that crowd fired up for Jake. Now, oh, oh my God, Jake wrenching Chaos down to the mat by his hair, stooping to, to the level of Chaos. That is something that Chaos may have already trained Joey on what to do. I mean, oh listen, that is a... That is a technique we have seen time and time again. Playing the mind games, Chaos knows what he's doing. Don't be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. Chaos is an absolute veteran of the business. There's definitely so much he's picked up along the way of his career. And here's the thing, when it's student versus teacher, the teacher teaches the student everything the student knows. But the student doesn't learn everything that the teacher knows. Absolutely. Does the student stop learning? Does he become the teacher once he actually takes down the teacher? That is the story that I am, I mean, what is going to happen to Jake Atlas's future if he takes the loss here tonight? Are those big companies going to look the other way? I don't know. Who, who can tell, but Atlas looking for the cover. Chaos quickly able to evade. Smart strategy on Chaos, making sure he's... I mean, that is some ring awareness. You gotta, you gotta know where that escape hatch is at all times. Chaos taking, taking a bit of contention with our official, Nick Bonanno. I think the mo more of the contention was actually with Jake Atlas, but again, what did the trainer teach the student? Headlock on Atlas has Chaos grounded. Oh, Chaos able to reverse. Oh my gosh, these two just tangled up in the mat. Atlas with that abdominal stretch, but now actually is, is wrenching. Right. Move for move, working each other. I mean, these guys know each other. They have trained together. They have worked hours and hours and days working each other to make sure they know that they're at the top of their game and seeing these two competitors. This is two Rams on top of the mountain, equally sized, equally matched, in my opinion. Oh, 100%, Halston. But when it is so equally matched, who do you who do you slate as a potential victor? As much as I am a prism of excellence, as much as I can see the future and see what's around, I this is one that is absolutely not giving me a clear vision. Atlas looked like he was trying to trying to rush chaos, but our official keeping some distance between the two competitors. Boot to the midsection, and Atlas just, oh, wow, firing off. There it is. All right, but Chaos is quick. You, as much of a veteran as he is, he's still quick, snapping those moves, oh my. making them count. But Atlas, the head scissors to Chaos, choking off the breath of Chaos. Chaos able to kick out. Wow, Chaos psyching out his opponent. Once Has, again, Chaos playing the mind games, being a little bit smarter than the average bear, trying to keep away. He knows that Jake Atlas is dangerous. Oh, 100%. I'm sure that this is something along, even through Jake Atlas's training, I'm sure Chaos knew that he was dealing with something special in Atlas. Oh, slap a ring. Oh, another one. Three. Let's make it a round tripper. Is this going to be a grand slam? No, he's going back for more. Atlas takes Chaos on a tour of the ring. And a reverse, Atlas. Oh, oh my God! What? That's a move I don't even think he trained him on. What in the? Look at the grace of Atlas as he just imparts so much damage on Joey Chaos. A drop kick to the face has Chaos staggering on the outside. Momentum has flipped. Jake Atlas is on fire. Chaos reeling and trying to get away from it all. I mean. There it is, that crowd firing Jake up. At Chaos won't run away from a fight, but he certainly will cut off the momentum of Jake Atlas. Atlas was, had some pretty steady hits. 
action resumes. Oh. The big, gosh. Did that crowd fire Chaos up? Was all that disrespect for what Chaos has built here at Santino Brothers, getting under his skin. He's gonna take it out on Atlas in that ring. Atlas now is gonna take out the legs of Chaos right underneath him, and they are fighting at ringside. Oh, here we go. Brutality 101, how far is this gonna go? We saw destruction with ladders. Oh, Ooh. what a spinning kick right on the edge of that ring. Atlas sweeping through both feet, connecting with Chaos. He knows what this type of match means to him. He knows that he has got to prove that he can take down the master. The student has got to learn, and this is the lesson he's gotta teach Joey Chaos. Chaos, oh, on the receiving end of huge chops from Atlas. Chaos looks like he's trying to find some kind of respite outside. Oh, no, actually going to just fire off some shots to Jake Atlas. Right, Jake trying to keep it clean. Jake trying to get it back to the ring. But Chaos is the master. He has been extreme, more extreme than Jake probably has ever imagined. And that's not a good place. Oh, oh. there we go. There's the sign of it. I just said it. And it's happening. Oh my gosh, Chaos slamming down the head of Atlas. Now wrenching his <laughs> neck, his throat. There's the violent side, that's that streak, that mean streak that Chaos has had so many times in the past. I mean, I've seen the tapes. I've seen the history of somebody like Chaos. It is brutal and bloody, and that might be the level he might have to take this match to. But at the same time, if you're Atlas, you don't get to the position that you're getting to by ignoring all other competitors, especially with Chaos being his teacher. Oh, God, it, Chaos is just trying to unhinge the jaw of Atlas, trying to rip his nose off. Uh, but as you were saying. As I was saying, Atlas has certainly studied the tapes on Chaos. He, he knows what Chaos is capable of, and he's got to have been prepared for tactics like these. But he's right. There's dirty tricks up that sleeve in the in the boots. You never know what Chaos is going to pull out of the, the hat for him. Oh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Neck breaker oh. to Atlas. Did you hear a bell ring? It was called Jake Atlas's skull. Oh. Atlas clutching at his head. Probably seeing Son stars. Oh, disrespecting him. Teacher, yeah. Chaos dropping a leg over the throat of Atlas. Atlas coughing, gasping for air. Almost like Darth Vader <laughs> toying with Luke Skywalker, showing him he is the boss. He is the king of that ring here at Santino Brothers. He knows how to work those rules. That's why Nick Bonanno's almost getting more frustrated with him. Look at this. More torture on that rope. Chaos, such a seasoned professional, even when it comes to bending the rules in your favor. Again, taking him to those extreme heights, but Jake Alice firing up. Oh, oh, oh. Too soon, smoke too soon. Chopping his throat. Atlas looked just topsy turvy. At this point, it looks like Chaos is almost just toying with like a cat and mouse. Oh, Atlas is picking up speed. No! Every time Atlas gets even that little bit of, of, of steam, a little bit of momentum behind him, Chaos is just right there to cut him down. Again, Chaos using what he knows in that ring to his advantage. I mean, those five counts are all he needs to take. I mean, if you just keep adding those up, choke after choke, disrespect after disrespect, Jake Alice is gonna run out of options soon enough. Taking a boot to his nose right there too, good God. Atlas firing off some, oh, oh wow, 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 wow. The slap her around the world, Kathy Campanelli. What an incredible open palm strike right across the face of Chaos. Chaos, not too pleased. You don't, the, oh, you don't yeah. want to rile him up like that. That is not a smart thing to do. Oh, Chaos in the duck. Oh. Wow. German suplex and Chaos is, is it looks like he might have taken a little out of Chaos as well, but Atlas is just being smart loopy. Though. Chaos is getting right up, trying to get him 
continue the punishment of Jake Atlas. I mean, you just saw his neck bend in half there again. Atlas now taunting the crowd as he chokes off the air supply of their favorite, the golden boy here at Santino's, Jake Atlas. Cass has got to be careful though. He's working that referee. Reverend Hickmanato is not going to take too much more of this if he keeps acting up like that. Oh, smashing the back of his head. Oh. Face lock. Oh gosh, Atlas, legs on the rope. Oh! Neck breaker to Atlas. Chaos. No, the ring awareness of Chaos. Possibly a little bit rusty after uh, not having competed in so long. Listen, he's taking a few shots to the head in his career. Maybe he's just not paying attention at this point in the match. Either way, he's got to keep chopping Jig Atlas down. Jig Atlas is far from over. Oh, see? Spe speaking of chopping, you can see across the chest of Joey all of the chops that Chaos has taken. Oh my gosh, just the, the, the blotched reds streaks across the chest of Chaos from Atlas. Look out everybody, I smell a second wind. It's called Jake Atlas. Oh my Atlas. God. But does he have enough? He has been beaten and choked and punished by Chaos. Is he gonna, he's trying to get that oxygen in his lungs. I mean, the crowd is fired up. They wanna see him punish him right back. Atlas just leveled Chaos with that clothesline. Now, cracking off some shots to his mentor, his teacher, his trainer. Atlas trying to clobber oh, oh, oh. Chaos into next decade. This is turning to Tyson Holyfield at this point, but wait a minute. Jack Atlas trying to call a spot on that. Oh! Kicking him right in the head. Boot across the face of Chaos. Oh! Snapping a kick across the temple, hooking the leg of Chaos and Chaos. Okay, there's that ring awareness. Hey, it came right back in a, in a flash of a moment. I mean, that might have been just instinct, reaching out for anything that possibly might be able to help him break up that pin. Jake showing a little bit of frustration, but it's too early for that, in my opinion. Atlas now back on top of Chaos. Oh. Jaw jacked. <laughs> From Chaos to Atlas. He doesn't need that lower jaw. Atlas, or uh, Chaos rather. Oh my God, DDT. Right, scrambling for the pin, the this head. could be it. Oh no, okay, Atlas, still alive. But Chaos stays right on top of him. Right, he knows. That he cross has got to, face. He's gotta continue that torture. He's gotta continue the punishment. Jake once again, oh, Jake doing the same kind of thing. Wow. You could see even the the, the, the flurry of movement from, from Jake Atlas's lower extremities. Just the desperation to get that cross face broken up with the ropes. What is it gonna take? At these at this point, both of these competitors have taken a lot, and this is gonna be oh! No, no! spybuster! Oh, off of that second Hook in the leg. Could be it. Chaos! No! Oh my god! How is this going to end? I can't even believe this is, I mean, what, Chaos has gotta be wondering what's in his head. He's gotta be thinking, how am I going to take Jake Atlas down and prove to everyone that he is the master, not Jake? How far back in the catalog of technique and maneuvers is each of these competitors going to have to go? Oh my oh, wow. God! Atlas kicking the lights out of Chaos, hooking the leg, not enough! Let us. Let us hope that Chaos has a good dental plan, please. My God! Oh my word. <sighs> Chaos is not gonna be able to smile even if he does win this match after that kick. There's probably, I don't know what kind of symphony is playing in his head right now, but there's gotta be a full orchestra ringing his bell, playing the cymbals in his brain. Sizing him up, here we go. Uppercuts exchanged between both competitors. Ah. You can just feel ah. the tension, the pain, the heartache, the raw emotion packed in to every impact between these two. How much more can Chaos's chest take? Oh! 
Atlas with another kick to Chaos. Right to the face. Atlas trying to muscle Chaos into a suplex, but Chaos successful. What? Oh my gosh. How did he get up from that? Huge kick. That must have, I mean, that's almost like a blackout moment. Like, does he even know he just did that? That was incredible. Who knows how much of this is actual thought and how much of it is just sheer instinct, muscle memory. Who is going to come out on top? This crowd is fired up. There has got to be a winner. And even if you do win, you still might lose because you're going to walk away with possibly a concussion. You're not going to remember where you were last night. I mean, Atlas is firing up. Oh, look out, oh, no. Chaos. Chaos on the shoulders of Atlas. Atlas off the ropes. Chaos ducks the clothesline. Power oh, slam. Oh, oh, running power slam right off those ropes. Chaos sizing him up. Oh, no. Up on that turnbuckle. Oh. Drops the leg oh. over the throat of Atlas, but doesn't cover instead. Chaos up to that top turnbuckle now. Double downing on the torture and punishment. Is he going to be able to connect and finish Atlas off? Look out, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, even that added height. Shoulders of Atlas are down. The leg is hooked. No! What? That was like 2.999%. Almost out of three. Frustration setting in on Chaos's face. What is it going to take, Kathy? You Tell think, me. Do you wonder if Chaos is just, oh my god, Chaos can't, God, Atlas just a, is a heap. Just a pile too of much. just muscle, sweat, and agony in that ring right now. No! No, Atlas, second win, Playing he's Playing possum, perhaps, look out! Oh. oh my god. Atlas, that guttural scream, that war cry. Is it a third win? How many more wins has he got? How many more tanks does he have to empty, to kill off the, the, the legacy of Chaos versus Atlas? Oh no, oh what no. is he gonna Atlas. do? Atlas. Oh no! Atlas with the moonsault! Chaos of fades at the last possible second! Just a hair too long. What is that gonna do to Atlas? Oh, here we go. Popping up Atlas, looking for that Gonzo bomb. Oh! oh but Atlas lands on his feet! Oh. Kick, standing moonsault, Atlas! Atlas looks like he landed on his on his knee. Listen, a flurry of shots, a flurry of moves, just a hair to miss. I mean, so close to take each now, other up out. on the shoulder, oh. DBT from Atlas! But is he going to be able to recover? He is so out of breath. He is so beaten down from the torture hit punishment that Chaos has dealt him. I mean, is he going to be able to get to that finisher? Is he going to be able to land it? Atlas has put his body through so much to get to this, this point. Every, every kick out, every cover. And these two have just laid everything on the line. But now Atlas up on that top rope. Looking for oh. the LGB there DDT! It is. This could be it! Atlas with the cover, hooks the leg of his trainer. Joey Chaos came down! Oh my god! Are you kidding me right now? How Jake Atlas is beside himself. How in the. I'm beside myself. Wait, he's doing it. Wait, here it is. Round two. The taking. Oh! oh. Cover! Go, no, no, Atlas, his shoulders are down. Joey. What? Oh my gosh, Joey Chaos had just gotten his knees up, able to reverse and pin the shoulders of Atlas, but still not enough. Chaos has had enough. This could be the end of it all. Wait a minute. Atlas ducks the clothesline, ducks the back elbow, spears oh. Chaos right in the center of the ring. Here we go, this could be it. He's sizing it up. Is he going to be able to hit a second one on Chaos? And Atlas, oh! LGB, DDT. Good God, here this we go. This has got to be it. Atlas laying out. It is. Perfect. Is your winner, Jake Atlas. 
Kathy Campanelli, this match has been incredible. It has been unbelievable. This is for the history books, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you know where you were tonight at Santino Brothers at last to see Jake Atlas take down the master, the teacher, the owner of Santino Brothers Chaos. I'm at a loss for words at this point. The tension was so palpable, but here in the ring stands Jake Atlas. His farewell to Santino Brothers and he comes out on top. Much respect, I am putting my hands together. Mr. Atlas, Jake Atlas, I'm telling you what, bright, strong, and determined future for this young man. He is gonna show everybody what Santino Tough and the training he's gone through is all about in his future endeavors. And his mother couldn't be any prouder. The locker room emptying out at this point, showing such respect for the leader that Jake Atlas has been for Santino Brothers over the last few years. It's not that I never wanted you to do better than me. I want all my students to do stuff that I've never dreamed of doing. I just didn't want you to go. I, you're the, you're the son I've never had. I'm 41 years old. You guys are my kids. I just didn't want to see you go, Jake. I love you too, man. And I want you to live your dreams and do what you told me and become the Hall of Famer that you wanted to be. Oh, fuck if I get in trouble for this. When I walked into Santino Brothers Wrestling, I looked into Robbie Phoenix and I told them that I was gonna be a WWE superstar, and now I am. That was legitimately the very first thing I told him. That was the very first thing I told Brody King. That was the very first thing I told Joey and Sylvia. And my mom's known since I was freaking seven years old. And now I'm doing it. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all of you. I, fuck. On Monday and the rest of the world is right in front of me. So let's fucking go out big. Thank you. Jake Atlas. He's got the entire world right in front of him and he is going to change the world.